Welcome to Newport News Department of Social Services. To better inform you of our available programs as well as your rights and responsibilities, we have designed this videotape. The information you will see and hear is important, so please listen carefully. The main branch of Newport News Social Services is located at 2410 Wickham Avenue. We also have two satellite offices for your convenience. Your home address determines which office you should visit. Our agency has two program bureaus to provide you with the assistance you need. Each bureau is responsible for different types of programs. The Financial Services Bureau is in charge of most money or money substitute programs. These are the programs that provide you with the essential things needed for survival. The Social Work Services Bureau is in charge of some money programs and all of the counseling services which may allow you to improve your life situation. To help you better understand the differences between these bureaus, we will tell you something about the programs each one offers. Our Financial Services Bureau offers the following programs. Aid to Dependent Children, generally called ADC, is a federal and state-funded program which provides basic financial aid each month. While this program primarily involves financial aid to children, it also helps the parent or caretaking relative if needed. Through the Virginia Bureau of Support Enforcement, attempts are made to locate and secure support from the absent responsible relative. Payments are based on a state-established flat allowance where a given family size receives a set amount of money. All living expenses must come from this check. The Aid to Dependent Children Emergency Assistance is a one-time money payment for fires and emergencies only. The Food Stamp Program is a federal program intended to raise the nutritional standards of low-income households. Food stamps are coupons that can be used to buy food and non-alcoholic beverages at participating grocery stores. Any household with income and resources below a maximum amount may be eligible for food stamps. The dollar value varies according to income and resources available. Participants in the food stamp program do not have to buy their food stamps. The Medicaid program, federally funded, provides various forms of medical assistance. Administered by the Health Department, this program coordinates with other medical coverage, such as private insurance and Medicare, to pay necessary medical expenses. Eligibility must first be determined by the Social Services Department. General Relief is a state and city funded program which offers assistance to individuals who are unable to work for a minimum of 30 days or longer or are not eligible for any federal category. These funds are available in limited amount and usually on an emergency basis. They are for families who do not meet the aid to dependent children requirements or for disabled individuals not yet determined eligible for assistance through the Social Security Administration. They are also available for a clothing and personal care allowance for persons in a public institution if no other funds are available. Social Services determines eligibility for the state local hospitalization program. SLH provides a direct payment to the hospital for hospitalization and outpatient emergency care services. You must be referred to this program by a local hospital. We have three special programs to assist the aged, the disabled, and blind individuals with their needs. To receive any of these programs, the applicant must be eligible to receive Medicaid. The first program is nursing homes. These homes are for people requiring skilled and semi-skilled nursing care. The second special program involves auxiliary grants. These are funds available to persons who can no longer remain in their own homes because they require constant unskilled care, such as an adult home. Community-based care, or personal care, is the third of our special programs for the aged, disabled, or blind. This program allows a person to stay in their own home rather than go to a nursing home or adult home. 
Services such as bathing, dressing, meal preparation, and housekeeping are provided by a licensed approved provider. Now that you've seen what we offer in the Financial Services Bureau, let me tell you what our Social Work Services Bureau offers. The purpose of Child Protective Services is to help parents or parent substitutes recognize and remedy conditions harmful to the child and to become more effective parents. Social work is provided to help parents improve the care of their children. Child Protective Services may also include assistance with homemaking, budgeting, obtaining respite daycare, emergency shelter for the family and or child, emergency medical care, transportation, legal proceedings, and other activities to protect the child. Adult Protective Services deals with the abuse, neglect, and exploitation of persons aged 60 and over or incapacitated persons of age 18 or over. Adult Protective Services may include the provision of social work and group work in an attempt to stabilize harmful situations. This may include the provision of or arranging for home-based care, transportation, sheltered employment, daycare, meal service, legal proceedings, placement, and other activities to protect the adult. Daycare services are offered. Child care is provided to the children of ADC recipients so that the adult may become employed or receive training or education directed towards employment. Payments for care can be made either to individually approved daycare providers or to child care centers. Transportation and registration fees may also be included. However, all arrangements are subject to agency approval before payment can be made. Adult daycare is provided by this agency in conjunction with Patrick Henry Health Care Center and applications are available at that center. If funds are needed, they will make a referral to this agency to determine eligibility. Daycare includes personal supervision of the adult and promotes social, physical, and emotional well-being. The Family Planning Agency provides information, counseling, education, and or referral to medical service providers to help an individual limit his or her family size or to plan the births of additional children. EPSDT stands for Early Periodic Screening, Diagnosis, and Treatment. Health checkups when your child is not sick help the doctor to keep your child free of hidden illnesses. The health checkup program services are free to people from birth to 21 years of age who are eligible for Medicaid. Foster care. Foster care involves temporary placement of children into an approved substitute home when it is necessary to remove them from their natural homes. Children are usually committed through courts for such reasons as neglect, abuse, or behavior harmful to themselves. In some cases, however, the child may be entrusted to the agency by parents who feel they need assistance in caring for their children until their situation can be improved. Our staff works with the family in order to help them correct the problems in the home so the child can be returned. Services are also provided to the foster family, including training, ongoing counseling and support, and other pre- and post-placement services. When children cannot be returned to their natural parents or other relatives, social workers can help with the legal processes to end parental rights and assist the child in becoming a member of a new family through adoption. Social workers do intensive studies on prospective adoptive parents and attempt to place the child in a home best suited to his or her particular needs. Also, social workers perform independent adoption investigations on children who have already been placed in a home and either one or both parents want to adopt. Other adoptive services may include ongoing counseling and support, training, and other pre- and post-placement services. 
companion services are services such as personal aid, housekeeping tasks, and or supervision to eligible adults who are unable to care for themselves without assistance. These services help to allow individuals to remain in their own homes through maintenance of safe living conditions. Services are available to SSI recipients and others with limited income. Community-based care, or personal care, is currently an alternative for individuals who are at risk of being placed in an adult care facility. According to Medicaid regulations, these persons are pre-screened to determine need and cost-effectiveness of the service. Once approved, this service will be provided by a licensed, Medicaid-approved provider and will offer personal care services in the home. These services include, but are not limited to, bathing, dressing, meal preparation, and housekeeping. The Employment Services Program is designed to help people receiving public assistance in the form of ADC and or food stamps to secure employment, training, and or education leading to employment. This comprehensive range of services includes counseling, career vocational and academic assessment, job enhancement skills training, job placement assistance, on-the-job training, and work experience. Our program also provides essential supportive services, such as child care and bus tickets for employment services participants who are participating in activities that help them to better compete for jobs. Volunteer staff participate in many functions of this department, administrative, social work, and financial services. With the support of volunteers from the community, Newport News Social Services helps parents learn positive parenting skills, teaches job-seeking skills to the unemployed, assists people with transportation, provides supplemental food, clothing, and household supplies to people in need, arranges for and provides companion services to the sick and elderly, provides respite daycare, provides advocacy to parents in need of support, provides clerical support in a variety of settings. The overall mission of the Community Resource Program is to support the social work staff in securing appropriate resources and services to meet the needs of clients as they work toward their goal of self-sufficiency. The Community Resource Coordinator works actively with community resources such as churches, civic groups, businesses, community agencies, and concerned individuals to facilitate the service delivery process for clients. The coordinator locates, coordinates, and distributes goods and services donated by the community to those in need. Both the Financial Services Bureau and the Social Work Services Bureau have specific programs that they administer and different types of workers. Should you receive assistance from both bureaus, you may have more than one caseworker. To help you understand the different worker titles and different responsibilities of each, we will give you a brief description of them. At Newport News Social Services, you may be assigned to three different types of workers. They are eligibility worker, employment services worker, and social worker. When you apply for financial services, you will first have an intake worker who takes your application. It will then be forwarded to a processing worker who will determine your eligibility. Once your case is approved, you will be assigned to a case management worker who will be your ongoing case worker. Eligibility workers are responsible for your monthly check, ADC or general relief, for food stamps and for Medicaid. Your eligibility worker may also help with giving you a letter verifying the amount of your check, verifying that your Medicaid card is still good if you lose it, providing you with a green card, which is used to cash in your orange ATP card so that you may receive your food stamps, register you for the Employment Services Program. Employment Services workers assist you toward your goal of self-support. If you are registered in this program, your worker can help with bus tickets for transportation to look for work or attend training. 
You may also be helped with daycare for your children if you are receiving ADC. Social workers help you look at your choices when you may be having problems that financial assistance alone cannot solve. Social workers may provide direct services to you such as counseling and daycare. Many services provided by social workers involve referring you to resources in the community for food, housing, clothing, shelter, and other services that we do not provide directly. The following information relates to your responsibilities as a recipient of services through Newport News Social Services. You should report all changes in your situation as soon as they occur or at least by the next working day. Failure to report a change in a timely fashion may result in the loss of your benefits. What types of changes should be reported? Any change that alters your household in size, available income, property owned, or where you live may impact the amount of the assistance you receive. Changes that must be reported are any work, part-time or full-time, or any changes in wages. Any money received by anyone in the household, including gifts, loans, grants, scholarships, income tax returns, social security checks, money received due to accidents, or other insurance payments and other sources. Support payments from anyone in or out of the home. Any change in the number of people living in the household, such as the birth of a new baby. The death or removal from the home of anyone included in your benefits. Anyone in the household included in your benefits who starts or stops attending school or college or gets married. The return of an absent parent. Any change in address for anyone included in the assistance unit. Any change in shelter or utility expenses. Any other changes. When returning paperwork of any kind to any of your workers, it is important that you hand the information to the receptionist and wait for her to log in the receipt of your documents. This will allow her to stamp a date on your papers, find out your worker's name, and forward your paperwork to the correct person. As an applicant or recipient, you have certain rights. You have the right to receive an application or to have one sent to you on the same day you ask for it. You have the right to have your application accepted immediately, even though you may not be interviewed until later. You have the right to have an adult who knows your circumstances apply for you if you are unable to come into the office. You have the right to have a home visit if you are 65 years or older or disabled and cannot find anyone to apply for you. You have the right to receive fair and equal treatment regardless of age, sex, race, color, handicap, religion, national origin, or political beliefs. You have the right to be notified in advance of the reduction or ending of your benefits. You have the right to examine your own case file and a copy of the program rules. And you have the right to have a fair hearing if you disagree with any actions taken on your case. At a fair hearing, you can explain to a hearing official why you disagree with what the Social Services Office has done. You can ask the Social Services Office for a fair hearing in writing, in person, or over the telephone. Your worker will give you information about the hearing rules in this state and can provide you with an appeal form. You may ask a friend, relative, or anyone else to help you prepare for the hearing and to attend it with you. In some cases, you may continue to receive your benefits while you are waiting for the hearing decision. If the hearing officer decides you are right, you will continue to receive or begin to receive the correct amount of assistance. If the appeal officer decides that the social services office is right, you will be asked to repay the benefit amount you were not entitled to receive. You will be notified in writing of the final decision within 60 days of the hearing. All information concerning you and your case is considered confidential 
and cannot be released without your approval. We hope this videotape has helped to answer some questions you may have about the programs at Newport News Social Services. If you have further questions, please ask the receptionist to help you find the appropriate worker to help you.